first, I want to start off by apologizing for not keeping up with the whole Talk of Thursday videos. I got back from school and everything kind of just plummeted. I've just been busy, but not busy, but busy, basically. But I'm back now, and today is just going to be me and a pet peeves video. I'm going to talk about like 10 things that I absolutely, completely, totally dislike, despise, just absolutely hate. So let's start with the first thing that I don't like. I don't like things around tubes. You know when you have like toothpaste or lotion and stuff, and then there's just like the lotion hardens around it, or even toothpaste, I absolutely hate that. It feels disgusting. I just be wanting to throw the whole tube out like my toothpaste. Uh, just keep your stuff clean, guys. Keep it clean. Um, the second thing I hate, I hate dirty carpets. I hate um, looking at hair on carpets or like have like certain pieces of carpet just sticking up. Um, not just carpets, but with rugs and stuff too. Like, you know when you enter a rug and then it's like, you know when you enter a room and then it's just like there's just colored spots on the carpet and it's just like you can tell like something happened here. <laughs> I actually hate that. I hate hair and the carpets. Ugh, it's just so cringy. Um, three, I hate, I hate liars. Well, I don't hate people who lie. I just hate the act of lying itself. Like, you ever met somebody who lies so much that they believe in the lies themselves? Let me tell you. You ever know something for a fact, like you absolutely know that this is the truth, like you have this, this, and that to prove it, and then you take it to somebody and you ask them, like, did this, this, and this happen, and to your face, they're lying to you about it, and it's just like astonishment, like, wow, are you really in my face lying to me right now? Like, I absolutely know this is true, and you're in my face lying to me right now. I absolutely hate that. I hate it so much. Like, I don't understand the point of you lying to me like don't even lie to protect my feelings like just be straight up with me just be honest just tell the truth like i'll be more mad at you for lying than for you doing whatever whatever it is that you did i hate when i go out to eat and they mess up my order because i love food so much and it takes a lot to really mess up my order because i eat almost anything i just don't like certain things like olives or for example like well, i've been out to eat and uh, my burger was like bleeding i absolutely hate that and it was just like that's the only thing like just cook it through i want it well done that's it so I send my food back a couple of times because of that and like the people I, I be going out to eat with are like, wow, you're mad picky. And it's, I'm really not picky because I eat almost anything. But it's just like, get my food right. Like I'm paying you. And it's not even like I don't tip. Like I will tip you with everything. So I'm just paying you to do your job and get my order right. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. And then, what? That was, that was four? Five. I hate judgmental people I hate judgmental people so much because I feel like everybody goes through like different things in their life so it's like who are you to judge anybody like a lot of people will bring up religion into this and uh, I think they're wrong to bring up religion because as a Christian myself people would think like oh Christians are judgmental um, if you do this wrong, you're automatically wrong to them. I'm a Christian. I don't believe that. I believe that, like, the only person who has the right to judge you is God himself. Like, if I, if I see somebody doing this, like, that's none of my business. Like, I can talk to them. If they're doing something wrong, the most I can do is talk to them about it. But I have no right to judge you and be like, yeah, you're damned to hell. I don't know that. Like, I'm not God. I can't be like, you're going to hell. You're going to hell. You're going to hell. Who am I to do that? So I absolutely hate when people judge people, especially it's because it's like you never know what's going on in somebody's life. Like, why can't we all just be friends and just love each other? Feel me? <laughs> but um, for number six, I hate arrogance, ignorance, and disrespect. I hate that so much. Like, one, I just hate disrespect because it's like, why are you treating somebody wrong? And 
when it comes to respect i feel like people of all ages like have to respect each other all because you're like 110 years old and close to your deathbed does not give you the right to disrespect me who i'm 19 i will respect you completely but you being old doesn't make you better than me like i understand you have more life experience i suppose but that doesn't give you the right to mistreat me with just as it doesn't give me the right to mistreat somebody who's like 10 years old or 12 or whatever who's younger than me respect is supposed to be for everybody all ages all sizes all of that and uh, that was six all right seven so for seven i hate i hate dirty kitchens bro, bro the kitchen is where you make your food the kitchen is where you cut everything off, you prepare your food and everything. You're about to eat that. That food is about to go into your system. If your kitchen is dirty, your food is dirty. It's disgusting. Keep your kitchen clean. Keep your house clean. But most importantly, keep your kitchen clean. Like, I don't understand. Just keep your kitchen clean. There's no reason roaches should be running up and down your freaking counter or running into your dishes and stuff like sleeping making your plates their beds that's disgusting keep your kitchen clean you're gonna be eating that food that's what you prepare your food please keep your kitchens clean all right um that was seven eight i hate snoring um i'm a very light sleeper i absolutely hate snoring this is about my sophomore year in college my roommate last year snored my roommate this year snored I'm a light sleeper. I just hate snoring. My friends snore, my brother snores, my parents snore. And the funny thing is, like, <laughs> when I have nightmares, well, when I was younger and I used to have nightmares and stuff, I used to run into my parents' room to sleep with them, and they both snore. But it was easier to, like, just take in their snoring than go back to my room and have to deal with the monsters in my head. But I absolutely hate snoring. And so that was eight, and this is nine. For nine, what I hate is I hate pity parties and people who play victim. Like, I understand everybody goes through things in life, and there are moments where you feel down and stuff, and me, myself, I have, I have those moments on my own. But after, like, day two, day three, you got to get yourself up. Like, you got to do something. Like, I understand there's times when, like, everything around you just feels like it's too much to handle but if you stay in that like depressive state how are you gonna fix anything you know what i mean like how are you gonna change anything like you gotta get up go out get some fresh air something and that's what i mean by pity parties um and people who play victim i do feel like not everything but certain things you do have consequences so if you do something and your consequence for that upsets you and then you start playing victim and um, start acting like the world is against you come on get it together stop playing victim i feel like every action has a reaction and the way you react to that reaction will cause more reactions so if something bad happens to you you just gotta i'm not saying you gotta suck it up because that sounds mad cold and not everybody could just be like I'm good now not everybody could do that I can't even do that there are days like the longest that I've ever like locked myself in a room to deal with my problems is probably like two weeks and that used to be when I was really bad at dealing with my problems I would just lock myself in my room with Netflix order food and it'll be like two weeks at a time and I'll just be in my room by myself not answering my phone not responding to people off of social media and I'll just slowly disappear from the world for like two weeks at a time and uh, that was a lesson learned because the more I did that, like, the longer I stayed in my room, the harder it was for me to start, like, getting out. Um, so don't throw pity parties. Don't play a victim. If you do something and you get a reaction from your consequence, that's your fault. It's your fault. And it's up to you to handle that and fix it. Stop playing victim. Another pet peeve I have is uh, like when 
when people have like mad pimples on their face and like their skin is just bad and instead of taking care of their skin they just use makeup and cover all of that and it's like without my glasses because i don't have my glasses on right now without my glasses it's like wow you look mad pretty like your makeup looks great and then when i put my glasses on it's like whoa you look like a crunch bar like come on if you have bad skin take care of your skin first before you start doing the whole makeup cover up yeah i hate that and uh 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 uh, uh, uh. what else do i hate Oh, I know I said 10, but here's one more. I hate, which is 11. <laughs> I hate sweating. I hate the heat. I'd rather be cold than hot. Because, for example, if you're hot, what are you going to do about it? If you're hot, like, say, say you're outside walking and you're mad hot. There's no air conditioner that can help you. There's no fan that can help you. There's no wind that can help you. You're just hot and sweating. But if you're outside walking, and like if outside is cold, all you gotta do is bundle up correctly and you're warm. Or even if you're home, if you're home and it's winter and say the heat is off, like there's no heat in the house or whatever and you're just cold, at least you have like blankets and covers and stuff that you could, you know, keep warm with. But if you're in your house and it's summertime and it's like 90 something degrees outside and it's like 110 degrees in the house, and there's no AC, no fan, no nothing. What are you going to do? Stick your head in the freezer? How long can you really stick your head in the freezer for? Come on. You're stuck. You're just going to be in your room sweating. It's just... Ugh, that's disgusting. I'd rather be cold than hot. And I absolutely hate sweat. Well, I hate sweat when I'm, like, sitting down relaxing. But if it's sweat from, like, a workout, that's different. If it's sweat from, like, oh, um, I'm at the gym and I'm sweating, that's sweat is progressive sweat so i understand that but if you just like if i'm just sitting here chilling and it's just hot and i'm just sweating that's disgusting or if you're in the shower if it's mad hot outside i know y'all took a shower before and sweat in the shower when it's dumb hot outside because i'd be taking one my showers have to be hot like they have to be hot even in the summertime my showers are hot like i'll take a hot shower and then step into the ac my air conditioned room or something but the shower has to be hot or else I don't feel properly relaxed. But I know y'all be sweating in the shower. That's disgusting. Disgusting. When you could just be cold. Cold is always better, y'all. So, that was it. That was my pet peeve video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, click below and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Everything is just franny.i. Watch out for the next show. I will try to be more consistent. And I apologize for not being consistent before. But I'm still getting the hang of this. This video probably looks different. I'm actually using my phone to record right now. Yeah. Long story short, I have no camera right now at the moment. But it is what it is. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you have any pet peeves of your own, you could just comment it below. Yeah, and I'll definitely respond and get back to you.